Hello everybody. Welcome back to part two of our something of a caster tutorial. Uh, the Gargoyle Earth Elementalist. Uh, and at this point we've picked Vehumet as our god. Um, in the last episode we lost one gargoyle and then we started another one and this one actually got off the ground so that's good. Um, we made it to D7. We found our god. Got some spells online if we have a look. Uh, we've got LRD is good to go, stone arrow, pass wall, etc. So we've started training our defenses a little bit. Um, I don't know why I'm training armor. Why am I doing that? Eh, okay, that's fine with me. I'll just take it to five. Uh, gargoyles have a bunch of innate AC, so training armor is not a bad idea. All right, and are we training a weapon at all? No, not yet. We've got this whip of flaming, a dagger of flaming. If we have a look for branded items, we've got a scroll, but none of these items really scream. Go pick that up and use it. So, okay. So let's continue on. Hopefully in this episode, the goal will be to make it to lair. Potentially start, depending on how far we get. Uh, that's a two-header. I'm going to go ahead and X him off. Yeah, 15 damage in a dire flail, and then 20 in a dire in a giant spiked club. I don't feel like doing the math, but that's a lot. I only have 55 HP. So, um, Petrify has a decent chance to work on something like that. But if it doesn't, then we're in a fair bit of trouble. So, uh, strength. I think I'll leave that on. So, protection from fire and sea invisible are only useful against enemies that are invisible or deal fire damage. Whereas strength, even though it's only plus four, gives us a minor increase to our melee attack. But Daz, you shouldn't be using melee attack. You're wrong. I mean, you're not really wrong, but I, um, I don't mind using melee attack. So, it works just fine in many cases. Um, especially, you know, we still only have 17 magic points, so the more we can melee on popcorn, the better. Ooh, a centaur. I'm going to back over here and then just let him come to us. And then, why is my one key not sandblast? Uh, let's use stone arrow to finish him off. Ignite poison? I really love that spell. But we don't have any other poison spells, so right now that's totally useless. Uh, with Mef here, let's pick up these arrows. With Mephitic Cloud, ten arrows, um, you can make fire clouds with that spell. It's it's pretty legit. And then if you get all grabs, you poison everything on the screen and then blow them all up with ignite poison. It's just it's nuts. Uh, so the reason I picked up arrows is in case we find sticks to snakes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and identify the amulet. Faith on Vehumet. Yeah, I'm good with that. Some people don't like faith um, because you do lose piety when you take it off. But for me, I'd rather have Vehumet offer us his spells more quickly as well as get the wizardry effect online more quickly. Um, once we you know, have a decent spell list, losing a little bit of piety is not a big deal. We're not going to be using piety um, for abilities, for example. So um, I'm thinking quite a bit of that is useful. Yeah. The gloves are useful. The boots and that leather armor are all would all be really nice to have. Okay. Start auto exploring, I suppose. Ooh, animate skeleton. I'll memorize that. I probably won't remember to use it enough to make it worth it, but let's do this. Um. How about, I'm trying to think of a key that I don't normally use.
Okay, well, let's just do this. We'll put in the, so this is the tilde key if you don't hold shift, which I don't believe, yeah, that doesn't do anything unless you hold shift. So that is now ray skeleton. Okay, do we want the boots? Yes. Yeah, those boots are going to be just a straight upgrade. Stealth is, I, I guess, kind of whatever. Um, doesn't do a whole lot for us at this point, but isn't zero. Ooh, I don't like this. I'm just going to wait. Actually, I'll throw a stone at the jelly. I don't think the jelly can make any noise, so we're not really in danger of the two-headed ogre waking up. And then we'll just shoot a stone arrow at it. Okay, I don't think I want to be here. Behemoth will no longer aid your destructive spells. I, we lost piety somehow. Even with faith. That's interesting. No worries. Let's go to dungeon 9. Ooh, a Bailey. I am perfectly happy to attempt a Bailey. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Um... So, you know, some of you guys, your first thought might be to use LRD here. And I'm going to say that's not a good idea. It, it uses, or it makes a ton of noise. And on an unexplored floor, I just, I don't think that's a good idea. Faint creaking of a distant portcullis. Okay, so... We're relatively nearby. Very distant. Okay, so here it's very distant. Up here it's distant. So it's either like over here or up here. But either way, that means we'll head back this direction. We may not be able to finish the Bailey, but we should at least be able to pop our heads in and see if it's something that we're capable of doing. There we go, portcullis nearby. There it is. I'm going to check out this leather armor. That was immolation. Let's go ahead and read Remove Curse at this point. Okay, well, we get another cursed armor, whatever. Ring of Flight, definitely don't need that. Okay. Um, I, don't I mean, I know what this one is, I recognize it, but I don't remember exactly what we're going to end up having to fight. Let's use Stone Arrow instead of our stones. I guess we have 116. It's not that big a deal. I want to say there's an orc warlord in this one, which... That would be potentially problematic. Orc sorcerers. Oh, 59% paralyzed. That's basically 59% chance to die. Alright, do we have any way to deal with this safely? I'm going to go with likely not. Hmm. Let's X them off for now. We we may be able to get away with not fighting them. At least for now. It's pretty unlikely that an orc sorcerer will kill you on its own, even if it paralyzes you. Orc knight. And it roared a battle cry. Okay, I think that's our cue to leave. Petrify? Oh, 42. That's decent. If that lands, then he's dead. Of course it didn't. 
We only have the orcs, the single sorcerer though, so there we go. Okay, uh, let's train just a little bit of necro, and this is simply for uh, animate skeleton. Actually, you know what? I don't think it affects. I don't think spell power affects how strong they are. It just affects how long they last. Okay. Do we train more earth? More spell casting. Evocations, maybe. I don't hate the idea of training some evocations. Well, not just for ice blast. That sounds like a poor decision. Okay. Uh, I guess more health is never a bad idea. We'll get a little spell casting too. We'll take that to eight. All right. So now we have an orc skeleton and an orc sorcerer skeleton. And there's another orc sorcerer. So we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna try to petrify it. And yeah, I think there's a pretty good chance that it's just not gonna work. Interesting. What was that seven or eight attempts? That happens. Okay, so there's the Orc Knight. Still a 42% chance to petrify. That one worked. Okay. This is really good, though, because this means that we should be able to kill him. I'm going to go ahead and quaff a Might Potion here. And you might be thinking, what are you doing? I don't think I have enough mana to kill this Orc Knight in one Petrify duration. So I'm thinking I'm going to melee him. Um, and it's hard to make Might useful on a caster. So since it's useful now, I'm going to go for it. And then before the Petrification runs out, I'm going to walk away and then hit him with some Stone Arrows. We'll summon his skeleton. So if we take a look, he deals four damage plus a war axe. So that's not bad at all. All right, so that wasn't the safest thing in the world, but it ended up being pretty safe. Um, man. All grabs with ignite poison would be amazing here. Just make a bunch of skeletons, send them at the Orc Warrior. That Orc Warrior is a legend. A legend among orcs. An electric eel. We have electric resistance. Oops. Um. Hmm. I guess this is fine. Yeah, Stone Arrow is getting relatively strong. Acquirement! Alright, what do we want? What's in the volume? Ah. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. No. Examine items. Okay, I don't want any of that. I don't want gold. I want that whip. That's a yes, please. All right. We're going to pick that up right away, and we're actually going to train that as well. And have we found a shield? No. Okay. So... Uh, we'll just turn on maces and flails. Probably don't. Well, you know what? Yeah. I guess we'll keep fighting on as well. Spellcasting will hit its goal here shortly. But a demon whip is fantastic. Us dying is not fantastic, but we should be okay. We're actually going to enchant this as well. I could absolutely see uh, taking this through the whole game. A 
big part of me wants to go pick up that axe just to identify it. So I think I will. It's anti-magic. Instantly useless for us. It's unfortunate because a plus eight battle axe is pretty sick. Ooh, another orc knight. Uh, this is bad. Let's go ahead and try to... Ooh! We got hit with a, uh... This is no good. Um, we got hit with a wand of polymorph. Would a potion help us in this case? Not really. A teleport would. Has Vayman offered us a... He offered us all grabs now? That's so mean. Out of curiosity, what's our... Poison magic is zero, so old grabs would be perfectly valid. Okay, uh, I'm going to XV myself. That doesn't work. Okay, AC plus seven. Oops. I think fungus form... Yeah, you get confusing touch. Okay. Oh, you can't drink potions. Okay. Um, so do I just teleport? I think yes. Because he can hit 20 plus a war axe and he's mited. And he can hit 25 plus a war axe. So. We're just going to teleport. Because we, we can't do a whole lot of damage to these guys right now. Hit him with some ice blast just because we can. And let's walk away. You feel a bit more experienced. Oh, one of them must have fallen into the deep water. That's hilarious. That was actually great. gold. Alright, anything else? More gold? I think that's sweet. Alright, so that Bailey was absolutely worth our time. We have three scrolls. Do we know if that's noise? It's not noise, okay. So it could be, it could be one of many useful things. Magic mapping, that's cool. Now I'm gonna use this whip for or this demon whip for a little while. Oops, I'm also moving like an idiot. That, as you can see, like so, as a gargoyle, you get more AC as you level up, right? So we have 15 AC at this point in leather armor. Um, so there, there's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of melee. Ooh, please drop your scales. I want to petrify you, though, because we are not resistant to steam. Aw, no scales. Oh, wait, that's a white. He's immune to poison, so we're just going to stone arrow him. Okay, I, I was thinking about picking that up, and if it was good, just, like, going all in melee, but... No. I'm not going to be a melee gargoyle of Vayamet. That just sounds like a meme. Alright, so... I petrified the one... We've lost about 20% of our hit points, so let's use this opportunity to just leave. There we go. And then we can finish these guys off. Bolt of Magma. I hate that spell. Yeah, I just don't think that spell is good. Okay, 
we can go get those gloves so let's go do that although do we save up for the leather I think so um, even though there's a really good argument that says I should take the plus one AC now rather than the plus three AC a little bit later when I might be dead I'm pretty confident in this character to stay alive and get another 130 gold or whatever he needs And this, this fodder, I guess, we can be just killing with our whip. And then here, just, I don't think we'll take it this far, but we'll set our skill training on our whip to 12, just in case we end up training more than I think we do. Okay, great. Let's go to D10. Oh, we have an ID scroll. Um, that. And then, do we have any idea what those two potions are? They could be mutations, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink them. Um, the last thing I want is to quaff mutation and get like berserkitis or something. That would be a real bummer. This is all basically fodder, so we'll, we'll just... Oh, that priest is... Did he hit or smite two turns in a row? Because that's really rare. No. Okay, we just got hit with a bolt. Okay, I'm a little more sold on Stone Arrow. What's its power or power? Four. So it has two more pips it could get. Wow. Okay, there's two priests. Uh, let's peace out. Theoretically, I mean, even though the chance is abysmally small, if we get double smited, we're going to be in a, a little bit of trouble that I don't want to deal with. Oh boy, that's no good. A four-headed hydra and a centaur warrior. The vampire mosquito I don't really care about, but... Okay, um, we're going to fight that stuff later. Oh, a hornet. I guess a hornet's really not a big deal as a gargoyle. Fireball. I will take that. That gives me an excuse to train some conjurations. Um, or do I want to train? No, I'll train Conj. Because I'm thinking if we do end up trying to get high level spells online, Firestorm, or not Firestorm, in, uh, Immolate, or whatever that one is. I, I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> that level 8 fire spell, Ignition, that would, that would be the one I would pick. It's pure fire. Um, you know what? And on that note, yeah, it's pure fire. It's not level nine. Earth. I mean, unless you do the whole like go the LCS route, I think Iron Shot is good enough. And I don't like LCS as a spell, so I'm thinking, yeah, like a level six Iron Shot, and then. Um, yeah, an ignition, that would do it. And Behemoth should offer us all of those spells. So, we'll train Fire to get Fireball online. Fireball is really, really good if you get it with decent power. Um, I didn't even pay attention, so 53% chance confuse. Yeah. Okay, well. Got her. That, that didn't go so well. Book. Lightning Spire. Oh boy. I feel like every character should memorize Lightning Spire, but... It's kind of...
kind of tedious to use. Fine. Okay, so this vault is terrifying. I don't like that. Oh, the vampire is awake. There we go. Right, you're immune to poison, right? Yeah, okay. Hopefully we can just stone arrow you to death. And we can't, because that's my life. Uh, no, we're going to start moving. Let's go this direction. He's trying to hex us. But now that the bullfrog skeleton is in the way, not anymore. Oh gosh. Um, we're just going to keep leaving. Oh, now we're confused. Uh, we're going to cure that. OK. And then the vampire mosquito is, confu or is petrified. And we're just going to reset this. And let's go to Lair. Because that D10 is awful. Yes, you do. Just go that direction. And then can we fireball these plants? Does that work? Not really. Okay, and then let's, we're going to kill a couple more of these plants in case we need to bring stuff up the stairs. And then do we have, no, I was going to say if we have an invisibility potion I was going to quaff it, but we don't that we know of. Okay, a crocodile is fine, let's go ahead and throw a stone at him just to get his attention. The very beginning of layer one is really, really dangerous. You only have one escape that you really don't want to burn. So if like one of the first enemies you run into is a Hydra, you're just in for a really bad day. And that right there is exactly why we didn't blind quaff those potions. They were, in fact, mutation. All right, a wolf, that's fine. Okay, Fireball has like no power. That we're probably going to want to change. Okay. Hey, Met's not offering us any new spells yet. Let's stop training fighting for a little while. Is that, well, is that really what I want to do? I actually think I want to just train fire magic. I'm thinking I want fireball online. Fireball will deal with hydras. Um, stone arrow kind of will. LRD kind of will. Fireball absolutely works though. Plus again, this, this gives me an excuse to go the ignition route and I, I just think ignition is probably the easiest way to win a caster. I could Lightning Spire here, but there's a pretty good chance it won't work. Go ahead and use LRD to our advantage. It just kills everything, so you might as well use it. Let's take that to seven. Yeah. Let's do this. We're going to go kind of corner ourselves, and then we'll blow up this wall. Uh, e, okay. Because the yak in front is lethally poisoned. All right, cool. And then what's the power on LRD? Five pips. So that actually we could get quite a bit stronger as well. Shatter is amazing. I just the the spells you would want to train to kind of get there. I don't think are that good. I know I'm factually wrong, but. Where did that blink frog go? There's sticks to snakes! Yay! I love that spell. 
We need another spell level, though. Ah, we're about to hit level 12. Gastronok. And he has an upgrade for our hat. Can we... No, we cannot petrify you. You can airstrike. It's a good thing we're not flying. Spire will be really good here, but let's just do this. Okay, that's not particularly working. None of this is working, so let's hit him with kind of whatever we can. He's trying to hit us with airstrikes and it's working. Oh, geez. All right, we're gonna have to drink heal wounds. Take a sip of coffee. Very slow. Theoretically, that means we can just peace. He has really low AC though. So, it's, it is curious that Lee's rapid deconstruction was so ineffective. Throw another ice blast. Okay, we got him. Oh, that gave us a bunch of XP. Okay. Uh, I guess air and summonings. Let's take him to three. I'm thinking that'll get Spire online. We've hit level 12. We'll get Int. And sticks to snakes. Hey, we have enough gold to go buy that leather armor. Oh, and there's ignition. See, and it's it's already coming down on its per, its fail percent. Um. Okay. That's shatter as well, though. In Earth, we have a plus two aptitude. I never really used Ignition. That would also let us get LRD's spell power really, really high. Okay, I think that's... I'm sorry, I never really used Shatter. Okay, so I, I think we're going try to go to, try to go the Shatter route in this game. Alright, and then we'll just blow him up with LRD. Um, I like this plan. I didn't expect to actually find Shatter. I thought I was going to have to wait till Vehemet offered it. And so I was kind of thinking... I don't know. Like, Fireball will kind of carry you through most of the game. But, so will a high-power LRD. I'm on a magic map. I would like to find the, uh, the volcano. Yeah, okay. So, because we have a ring of fire resistance, and we also have um, that leather armor once we can wear, or once we are done with this battle. So, that should be quite safe. Oh, that's the swamp. Okay, so that'll put the volcano up there. I was also thinking if I get level 9 spells online, I'll probably take this character into Extended. Um, decent chance I won't record that, because Extended is really tedious, but we'll see. Yeah, 34% on Lightning Spire. <clears throat> And this right here is why I put the ring on as well. That's enough incoming fire damage that I really don't want to do silly things, like not wear enough fire protection.
There's Iron Shot. Okay, um, so that's a really good spell to learn. Let's let's get some spell casting. We have Amnesia, right? Yeah, so are there any spells we could get rid of? <clears throat> could get rid of Stone Arrow in favor of Iron Shot. How many spell levels do we have? Zero. Okay. This isn't going so well. Oh, this is going worse. Uh, I'm going to burn a blink here. Just because they haven't noticed me yet. And I'd like to keep it that way because we only have 36 HP. There we go. Alright. I still don't feel great about tackling a Molten Gargoyle, but it at least feels possible. Are you immune to electricity? No. Resistant to it. You're immune to poison. You're immune to fire? Yes. Okay. So I'm thinking... Immune to magic, so no petrify. Can we just LR can we LRD him? I don't think that works. So let's do this. Let's let's put up a spire. Let's put up a spire. Oh my gosh. And then we'll just huck stone arrows at him, I guess. Cool. We'll reset, and then we'll do this again. Holy! Wow! I did not expect to find a stone giant in here. Oh gosh. Oh, I think I could have died that turn. I know I could have died that turn. Um. Dang it, we have to leave. Here, let's. I was gonna say I think we were I think we lost him. Okay. So now we may be able to deal with that. Mistakes were made. Spider, actually sticks to snakes would work pretty well too. Let's try that. Because if we can get some poison on him. There we go. Uh, I'm going to Quaffy Hill Wounds. And then let's think. How about a Spire? We'll hide behind it. And then we'll blow up that wall. And should have him. There we go. Then we'll just keep training spell casting. That sounds like a good plan. Alright, well, we had to use more consumables than I had hoped in doing this, but we made it work. I guess Wand of Acid made it worth it. Death Yaks. And... All right, this is definitely Spire, and then we'll just stand and fight. It's fine. We'll go up and not go back down those stairs. Two spell levels. I do want Iron Shot. That's a good one.
Ooh, an eight header. Only 30% chance to petrify. We can probably just kill him with fireballs. Let's try that. Told you, fireball is pretty good. Plus, we get a nice skeleton out of the deal. Dang it. So check this out. The Death Yak is as sick as possible. That means that I can't deal any more poison damage to him than he already will take. So I'm just going to walk. Walk away. And let the poison do its thing. Now I'm going to hit him again. He's sick as possible again. He gored me that time though. So let's, let's try to get a little bit more HP. And we'll just kite him. It's a little tedious, but perfectly safe. Alright, and then I think we can finish these two with fireballs. Not quite. Cool. And actually let's let's raise all these skeletons. Because these monsters make decent skeletons. Oh, that was another enchant weapon. Let's go ahead and use that. Plus four demon whip. Alright, and then I'll probably do layer three and then uh, call this an episode. Yeah, it's getting kind of late here. Five spell levels left. Okay. And we're about to level up, and we're about to get another rank in spell casting, so that will give us enough spell levels for um, Iron Shot. I don't know that I like the idea of fighting Fenar with no skeletal backups and no resistance to cold. I've definitely died trying to do that before. Okay, we've been shafted two floors. That's a bummer, but we'll make it work. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to fight these yaks. Uh, for all I know, there's two hydras waiting at the top of these stairs. So, the last thing I want to do is go up the stairs, find something I don't want to fight, and then have to come right back down into the axe. Alright, so we'll go ahead and memorize Iron Shot. 28%. Okay, so that's an excuse to train more Earth. Okay, and there's our upstairs, so we'll get back to where we were. Fenar is still there. Don't like that. Well, now that we have a couple of skeletons and we're at max range, let's just try a couple of fireballs. Although sticks to snakes would work too. So let's do this. We'll. Okay, yeah, the fireballs are working just fine. Didn't expect it to work that well. <laughs> okay, but we've caught the attention of a Hydra. Alright, 
let's just, I guess, use more fireballs. Because a lot of problems in Crawl can be solved by throwing fire at them. I have really no desire to be in melee range with this. Although, you know... We can do this. Well, let's hit him with some acid. That didn't work. Okay, so now he's corroded. We'll summon a spire. And then us plus the spire will take him out. Okay. Karen. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm going to let call that a day. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.